Elisha and the Noble Woman of Shunem. Part 1. This is a true story from 2 Kings chapter 4. Here's our verse for today's lesson. 1 Peter 4 verses 8 through 9. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Look for ways to cheerfully help others. Thanks, Jerry Giraffe. That's a great lesson for today, that God wants me to look for ways that I can cheerfully help other people. We've been learning about Elisha, and Elisha was a prophet of God. And he lived in ancient Israel, in the kingdom of Israel. And he would travel here and hither and thither throughout the land of Israel, teaching people God's law or training the sons of the prophets. And as it happened, he went through the town of Shunem. And while he was there passing through the town, a woman, a very noble woman, came to him and said, Elisha, I would like for you to come to my house and to eat a meal with us, please. And so he did. Well, the next time Elisha was in Shunem, the same woman came to him and said, Elisha, please, I would like you to come and eat food with us. So he did. And she served him a meal. Now this woman said to her husband, Husband, this is a holy man of God that comes to us, and he comes to this town often. And we love God, so why don't we do something to help this prophet? Why don't we make him a room in our house? Maybe, uh, in the, uh, maybe a loft. But a room that he can have a bed and a table and a, a stool and a candlestick. A place for him to stop and, and rest. Well, this was a, a very good idea, a kind idea. And so, that's what her husband did. He made, her, made Elisha a little room. And Elisha and his servant Gehazi were very thankful for this room. So it happened that whenever they came through Shunem, they would stay in the prophet's chamber that this noble woman of Shunem had made for them. Yeah, that's right, Joy Giraffe. That was a really nice thing for this woman to do. That she loved God and she wanted to show her love for God by loving other people. And so she found a way to help someone else, to cheerfully help them. This was very kind of her. Well, Elisha said to Gehazi one day when they were in Shunem, staying in the chamber that she had made for them. Gehazi, I want, I want you to go and ask the, the noble woman what we can do for her. This is a very kind thing that she did for us and, and I would like to do something for her. Maybe she would like us to speak for her to the king or to the captain of the army. So Gehazi went to the woman and he said, And like, what can we do for you, ma'am? Eli Elisha would like to show his appreciation. Is, is there anything we can do for you? Um, do, would you like us to speak to the king on your behalf or, or the captain of the army? But the woman answered, No, no, I, I'm content to live here. I, I dwell among my people. Well, Elisha, he said to Kazi, Well, then what, what shall we do for this woman? We should thank her somehow. And Gehazi told Elisha, Well, y you know, Master, that um, this woman is, well, she's not a young, a young lady anymore, and she doesn't have any children, and she's always wanted children, but um, she has no children. Well, that gave Elisha an idea. He, he had Gehazi go and, and get the Shunammite woman. And she came. And Elisha said to the woman, About this time, next year, you will embrace a baby boy. Well, the woman was shocked. And she said, No, my, no, 
No, Elisha, my lord, do not... You are a man of God, do not lie to me! Do not tell me something that's false! Do not... Do not get my hopes up like that! But, sure enough, about that time next year, the woman had a baby boy. And the woman and her husband were so excited. This was incredible. That God had given them this special gift. They were content and they had plenty of things to provide for themselves. But now they were happier that they had a little boy. But that's not the end of the story. I'm sorry to say that something sad is about to happen next. But you'll have to wait till next week to find out. Here's our verse for the lesson. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. God wants me to look for ways to cheerfully help others. To be continued.